Hard to kill. Back in the basement. Welcome back. Welcome back. Look at this, dude. Now we've moved up from from table world to couch living. Yeah. Feel like I'm in a studio. It's nice, dude. You know. A comfortable. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Here we at. Here we at. Back in the studio, though. Earth tone couch. I like it. It's uh, it's vintage. Almost OD green. Not quite. It's more like doo doo brown. Doo doo brown. We can we can know. rock with. It. I call it so whatever. it's so it's been a little bit, Mikey. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've seen you. You've been, you've been fucking steady with it, man. Dude, we're we're ste- we're steady growing, man. We, you know, we we said we were gonna stay at it. We have been. Um, and, and I think we're we're starting to you know, have a presence in the. Uh, I mean, what would you call it? Would you call it the 2A? Would you call it the, the military community? What would you call it? I guess I'd call it the, yeah, the, the military community, uh, active duty and veterans. Like Absolutely. There's, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of good interviews that, that you've done on this, and I'm proud appreciate of you, that. man. That's, you. that's good stuff, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not on every episode, but I'm definitely a listener. Uh, and I don't know how many, else, how many other people out there are strictly audio, but I'm mostly audio. Um, I throw it in, in my AirPods when I'm out working. So we're definitely working on that, dude. We that that's mostly our Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I got to work on getting all the episodes up to the Spotify. It, it's it's a process, guys. We're we're working on it. Um, but yeah, we definitely have a significant uh, following that's just audio as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, I can understand that. You know, not everyone. You know, YouTube also kind of drains the battery on the phone. Right. I'm thinking majority of our listeners are drivers. You know, yeah. You think about it when when you're watching your you know your whatever it is your podcast. Usually it's that drive. Usually it's that twenty thirty minute drive, and you go in somewhere, you throw it on, and then you you stop it and you put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it in sections. Yep. Yeah, I do the same thing. I'm I'm lucky enough that I can go like I go like four hours without an interruption, so I can have that just playing in the background. It's, Absolutely. it's nice. So honestly, you know, I, at first I I didn't know what our demo was going to be. Looks like it's really like a broad spectrum, dude. Because not only do we have the military or, or the veterans, we have the people that want to know about us. They, they, you know, they have spouses, they have you know, dads, moms, whatever, whatever it may be in the military. And you know, as we we said before, we're honestly not the best at talking about our, you know, what we've been through. You yeah. know, what what goes with being in the military. And I think this significantly helps those people because if you kind of break it down and. They can understand that a little bit better when we, you know, kind of break it down, and we don't just throw acronyms, you know, every two seconds. We're, yeah, yeah. We're explaining it. Yeah, uh, I, I know Steve Smith is a buddy of mine who's just just a regular civilian. He listens and he loves it, um, and and he's he says that all the time. He's like, it's good for civilians to get a little bit of insight for it because they don't know. You know? It's understandable, um, and and we we want those listeners. You know, you know we 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 want that and. Honestly, spreading awareness, you know, that's that's a big part of what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so happy to have you guys. And uh, honestly, please start leaving us comments more. We want to know what we're falling short on. We want to know what you like. Um, or what subjects you want to hear about. Absolutely. I mean, we've got a, a handful of shit that we've come up with today. But if you guys have uh, something you'd want us to break down or, or give a, a, an opinion on, drop it in there. Something that we got a, a lot of backlash on was uh, Ukraine. Because we had Steve Prinslow on, and honestly, we weren't expecting that. You know, it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. Great guest, yeah, phenomenal guest. Shout out to Steve. I hope you hope you're safe over there, brother. You know, keep your head down, and we're looking forward to having you on again, bro. Yeah. But um, so we we honestly didn't know everything. This this was this was early Ukraine. Right. This was early. This was when it was just starting to pop off. Well, not really. It was it was we were into it, but still, we weren't that well versed on everything that was going on. We were kind of just looking at it through a, a warrior standpoint because we understand that life, or a, a soldier, a marine standpoint, a, a boots on the ground individual. Right, um, and that's how I think we connected with him. And I think it was yeah, yeah, and, and we had a controversial, well, not controversial, but we had a different opinion than the public. We did, you know, um, and thank God we live in a country where that's allowed. Right, yeah. 
everyone and every yeah i mean that's that's a people don't realize like everybody you know every in this country everybody's entitled to their opinion yeah. whether you like it or you don't like it i mean i'm willing to hear you and, and we had a different opinion on ukraine we didn't we didn't think it was right to be sending all that no. fucking money over there when you have places in the u.s that are struggling uh, and now i've noticed that they don't cover on the news anymore you see that and i you know why dude i honestly think it's because they know that the american people are like hey wait a minute we're starting to not Where, yeah. where's that money going exactly. <clears throat> and when that's, they can't provide that's a huge topic slow down dude what, that money let's talk about yeah, that yeah man how, how is that not being questioned more i don't and how do you not have to come up with an answer how do you not have to explain where that money goes you notice what they're doing though they just throw thing after thing so it, and if it you, gets put on the back burner yeah if you question it then it's like Oh, you don't support. You're the, not an American. You don't or, support Ukraine. No? no, they had fucking uh, they, the clip I saw yesterday of, of Trump. They asked Trump, "They're like, do you not want Ukraine to win the war?" He goes, "I want people to stop dying." Yeah. Well, beautifully put. Beautifully put. Exactly how I feel. It's not about winning a war. No, no, We're, no, no. this isn't a competition. People, can can you understand that 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 the it's, they want you to think it's like a patriotic thing, right? For Ukraine to win, and they're the good guys, guys. This is not a good guys, bad guys thing. This is this is a political catastrophe, or a, or honestly, it's a play. It's a hundred percent a play. We don't dude. know exactly what it is because these plays are made for things that are going to happen years ahead of us. Right. But this is not something that we should be triumphing behind and, and putting flags in our windows. And I'm not I'm not trying to bash you guys. I understand that. Don't take this the wrong way. A lot of we, we were ignorant about a lot of what was going on when we did that first show with Steve. We didn't know everything that was going on. So for you to put a flag in your window of Ukraine, guys, you, you, I don't really think you understand what's behind it. That's just buying into the narrative. Because That's, if you did, you wouldn't put it there. <laughs> right. Yeah. If you really knew what was going on here, then I don't think you'd be no, so into it. You really wouldn't. And it's, it, it's nowadays, it's like people do that just so that, you're, they, they give off the vibe that they're a good person. You're okay. Right. Yeah. Get the vaccine. You're a good that's person. That's sad that's how it is now. Donate to Ukraine because you're a good person. Follow the narrative. Let the Mexicans in because you're a good person. You see that video? The, the dude, he, he's got a fucking Biden sign in his front yard, and this guy goes and knocks on his door. And he's like, hey, you, you know, you're a Biden supporter. You're, uh, you're good for, or you're, you're, you're pro pro Indian illegal immigrants. Yeah, yeah. So can they stay? Yeah. Did you see that video? Wait, uh, not at my house. She's like, well, I got three Honduras guys right here. They all have to take a shit, and Jorge <laughs> needs his medication by six p.m. So it's hopefully okay, you right? have dinner yeah. ready. Yeah. And the guy was like, well, no, they can't stay here. Yeah. Was, oh. So where do you expect them to go? Right. So <laughs> it's it's fine as long as it's not on you. It's it's the rules for me, not for thee. That fucking bothers me, dude. I hate that. I hate that double standard that that people. People don't realize the, the, like, the reality of this kind of stuff. You know, yeah. before this, honestly, guys, I, I really am not that political of a person. I, I, I get really, really um, agitated with, with both sides because there's a lot of just bullshit from both of them. It's like, do you really even want things to be fixed in any sort of way? Or are you just strictly arguing for these plays, for things to go your way, for money to go in your pocket? Because that's what it looks like. To, to the trained eye. So for you to just, I constantly question the people that, that get behind the left's ideology because I know a lot of people that are Democrats and they're solid individuals. Yeah. They question things, they're critical thinkers, and they explain why they believe certain things. And I can rock with that. Right. If you have a you know, solid background or solid understanding about what you're talking about and you just have an opinion that goes a certain way, awesome, I'm happy for you. But if you're just getting on the bandwagon because a narrative is being pushed, guys, please do your homework. Please yeah. look into what you're triumphing and what you're getting behind because it comes off a certain way. <laughs> yeah, it, well, I mean, we had a, a prime example of, uh, and it just, you know, yeah, yeah, go dude, for it. Go so, for it. so for, for our viewers, really, like... Really explain where it is, what they were doing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm on, uh, I'm scrolling through Facebook the other day and an ad popped up for a local brewery. That I I drive by all the time. It's one town over from us. I go by it on my way to work, um, and it said, uh, "Drag Queen Story Time Event," uh, and then it had like the the date and the times, and it was when you write Story Time Event, yeah, 
you're clearly geared. To, story times are not geared towards 40-year-old men. They're not geared towards 25-year-old women. They're geared towards children. Children have story time. And for some reason, these people thought it would be a good idea to have cross-dressing men come in and read stories to the kids. And it blew my fucking mind, man. It blew my mind. So you, you're exposing these, these children to, to, to confusion, and you're trying to normalize it. And, and I've come to this conclusion that the woke community, unless they groom the next that generation, is grooming. That oh, is yeah. grooming. unless they groom the next generation, they die off. They don't last forever. Exactly. Man. But if you can take kids from the ages of 4 to 14 and try to normalize this to them at a young age, then they, be, they come to your side. Absolutely. They've been groomed into a, uh, a soldier of your back. Absolutely. It's, it's very similar to putting your son into sports at a young age. Yeah. Wrestling, uh, you know, uh, football, you're training him. You're, that is exactly what the... In, when you bring your child to that kind of event, that's what you're promoting. They're impressionable. They're young. They, they don't know what they believe in. Right. For you to push that on them, it is a sick, confusing, just inappropriate thing, guys. Like, as, as adults, if we had kids, we're not, don't get me wrong, they're going to see that I love my wife and they love the, I love the person that I'm with, but I'm not going to push myself on them. I, I mean, I, you don't see us talking no. about what we do right the story so that, time and, that, and that's that's my my thing is i i was like you mean to tell me that out of all the people in this small town for somebody influential to read a story to the children in the town the best you could come up with was ralph dressed as nancy what, and, what, and then what was the thinking behind that, dude really? well here here's my thing and the brewery knew they fucked up 100 percent, they knew they fucked up and you know why because if you see ads on Facebook for, like, a car show, it's a really nice put-together ad. You see ads sometimes for a yard sale, a flea market, whatever you see the ad for. This was just one sentence in basic text, almost like they were just trying to slide it by, but they so, had to say it. Yeah. They had to say it, but they just wanted to slide it by without a bunch yep. of comments, a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, yeah, no, no way. You good, know, good luck, buddy. It's funny because I talked uh, a night or two ago, I talked to a... Uh, very cool uh, lesbian uh, friend of mine, and uh, I kind of just wanted to know, you know, because I've talked to her about things before. She's very, very open, and, you know, she, she's willing to argue her side, which I'm all about. Not even argue, just talk. And I asked her how she felt about this. You know, like, really, like, I, I want to understand it from someone else's point of view that kind of may understand it better than mine. She couldn't give me anything. She's like, I, I, I don't know. This isn't, I don't feel that way. I don't right. know what they're doing because you know what? I've been to drag shows and they're not for kids. They're, 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 what do you, what does a drag show teach? It doesn't teach anything. It's an, it's an entertainment event. Right. It, it's, kids should not be there. Yeah. You don't take your kids to the bar. No. You don't, you know, there's, there's places where you just, there are not meant for children. And they know that. I'm yeah. sorry. They well, that's, know that. Dude, here's the thing, dude. Like, you, they have ratings on movies, like PG-13. Like, you wouldn't bring your kid to watch a rated R movie at six years old, but you would bring him to, to a drag show, which is very confusing for a child. Why is, you know, why is Bobby dressed as Susan and telling me about the fucking sheep that jumps over the fence? Like, it's just, I don't understand any of that shit. And we're not going to. No. And you know what, dude? Like, if you want to... I, and I have nothing against the drag queen thing. Don't think we're bashing. We're, no, I, we're simply I trying to understand this. <clears throat> I think it's... Um, I feel bad for those kids. Definitely. I do, because they're now there. That's a... You're going to grow up in a corrupt no, house. No insults like that. to whoever's grooming these individuals. Actually... Yeah, fuck them, dude. Fuck them. You know, seriously. You, you're an adult. You know what you're doing. Cut the shit. Yeah. It, it's, it's just sick. And I'm not trying to take up the whole episode talking about this, but we wanted to put it out there. You know, drop the name too. What's the name of the brewery? I don't know. I don't even know the name yeah, of the brewery off the top of my head. Yeah, seriously, we'll find um, it though. But we'll, we'll... I did also <laughs> the the best comment I I saw in that whole thread was, "Yeah, and the beer sucks too." <laughs> <laughs> 
once again, why are kids at a brewery? Hello? Like, everything about that was just fucked up, man. And the people that were like, they were like, oh, drag is... Were there a couple? Like, pro? Oh, dude, most of them were. No, stop. Yes. There was, there was a lady in there who told me that, that drag is a form of art. And I told her, if that's a form of art, it's right below railroad graffiti. Explain how it's a uh, form of art. What's, what's artistic about I, it? I, dressing in costume? I don't know. So if, if I dress up like, uh, like Barney is and, I mean? and I want to fucking read the dictionary to a couple I want to show a little bottom nut. You know, like... I don't know. Well, that's I that's not going to be allowed. That's for damn sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's just... Whatever. I don't, I don't want to spend all, all the episode talking no, about I, it. But, I don't either. But... Uh, you, if you're fucking, if you're doing that shit, man, you are a groomer. They hate that word that is, too. That is grooming, a hundred percent. What else would you call it? Yeah, they get all offended when you say that. It's because like they know it's true. Yes, dude. That's why you would be offended. If you know you're not doing that, you'd laugh. Like, okay, right, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like I know I'm not. Doing, it's just, That's the only way that 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 yeah. movement keeps going is if they groom the next generation now. And, I, and, and that's I, exactly what's going on. And man. I think if anything, if people are like minded to us, don't get. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's it's in, it's infuriating even thinking about this stuff. But they want that. They want us to get all mad and 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 insult and and just try to bring them down. Which trust me, I understand. <laughs> but do this tactfully. Really, if you if you run into an individual like this, just ask him to explain a little bit. Ask him like, how, how, why do you think this is okay? Mm. You know, try try attempt to drop some knowledge on him, and if they don't, just. Yeah, you can't say it more. You can't, you can't, you can't do much after that. But still, like, th- I, I honestly think they can't explain this rationally. I mean, it's not something that you can put out there and you get nodding heads with. Mm. Right. You know, it's just, it's just not, not something that we support. We never will. And uh, hopefully, this stuff gets, gets dropped, gets, gets, gets stopped somehow. I don't know how, but hopefully, it does. You, yeah. I mean, you want if you if you're looking for somebody to read stories to the kids, grab a local veteran. Grab a, grab a local firefighter. Yeah. Grab a selectman in town. Yep. You know, grab somebody like that. Teach them something good. Take, a, take an old man from the VFW. Anything. They're, they, they love There's to go so many to better yeah. examples of, of leaders and, and people to look up to. That's what kids need in this cross time. Than they, they need a solid leader. Because you know what? The leadership that we have right now in our country is absolutely pathetic. Yeah. Um, and... and <sighs> This, we're gonna start going in, dude. We there's actually a lot going on right now, there, yeah. and it's scary. Seriously, man. Um, from when we excuse me, we're about a year in right yeah. now with this podcast. Yeah. Um, and it's gotten progressively worse since we started, dude. And don't get me wrong, we're we're right wing vets. We have certain mindsets. We believe certain things, but we're looking at this right now with an open open stance. Um, and how can you even explain what's going on? Leadership is failing. Things are popping off overseas to a point where it's getting nerve-wracking. What, what, China, Ukraine, Russia, this all happened once Biden got into office, did it not? Yeah. It, it <laughs> and if you remember, when, before he got into office, they had, they had the emails through, to his son Saying that they had to, quick. they had to kick ten percent to the big guy. What does this? I wonder who the big guy is. Big dummy, big guy can't ride a bike. <laughs> fucking tough days for that guy. It's it's brutal, dude. It's like it, you know he looks like he's got fucking dementia. He does. Yeah, I know. But when they roll him out there, like other countries are laughing at us. Other people look at that shit and they laugh. How at can us. you not? They're like, how can they elect that to be their leader? It's, it's, yeah, it's troubling, man. They, they don't, nowadays, it's like the newer generation isn't taught to love your country. It's very true. You know, you, you see these kids that grow up in Europe, they fucking love you, they, with their countries. You know, something I wanted to bring up with you, so this is something that I battled right away from when I did my first interview with uh, the soft white underbelly. I'd like to know how you feel about this. Mm-hmm. So something that we deal with, we're, we were bred to be Marines. We were bred to be patriots. That was instilled in us. We love our country. We're happy. Honestly, look around. 
look at the other countries. They're not free. You, you cannot have opinions. Um, you can't do what you want. We can. And that is what we fight for. Because uh, in my first interview, I brought up 9-11. And don't get... Listen, we also have YouTube, guys. We see the videos. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look good. We don't know... We don't know what happened with 9-11. Honestly, no. it's... It, it, uh, and we probably won't ever know. Uh, but it happened. Americans died. And someone had to do something about it. That's, that's the, the basis behind it. I got a lot of, like, hate that, oh, you, you're working for a corrupt government. They do this, they do that. And so think of how... And, and so, I mean, now I look at some of that stuff, and some of it is real. So at, at 18, how malleable were we? To see these ads online of in in videos of people kicking fucking doors yep. in and cutting rooms in half, yep. and we were amped up. We're like, "Fuck, I'm, let's go, let's do. It. We yep. gotta, we gotta get back. We gotta get ours." Absolutely. And now I look at it as a thirty, almost thirty-five year old man. Like, what the? F it's they pulled hard. the wool right, right over my eyes. It's kind of hard. It's it's very hard to swallow. That's something it's that extremely a lot of hard deal to swallow. With. Like we we go over there. We do the damn thing. We get a little damage, but it's okay because we did it for a reason. Right. But then when you start to to look at everything from the whole, which we've had time to do, yeah, it's not a good look. No, man. It, it, it makes, and I wonder all the time, it makes me wonder, like, what did those kids die for? Yeah. Like, it, the, you, start, you start thinking I was the bad guy. Yeah. And, it's and not, I didn't even fucking know it. It's not a good feeling. No. Because. That's a tough one to swallow, man. And that's something that we deal with. All vets do. Yeah. And, it, and it's not talked about. Right. You can't really talk about that because it's taboo. Yeah. No yeah. one wants to say that, that the flag's bullshit, that the, everything that we believe in is bullshit. But I don't want to say it's bullshit, but it's just. There's a bigger system yeah, behind there. That, I think that we all know we that, that, that now. There's, there's something else going on. Yeah. Um, there's an alter alternative mode. Honestly, what, um, I'll put it out there. I mean. I know that there's 13 huge families that own most of everything when it comes to media, when it comes to the Federal Reserve, when it comes to whatever is happening in this country at this point. And unfortunately, not a lot of people believe that. Not a lot of people understand that. And I almost think that information's hidden, though. It is. Of course it is. It's, it's hidden away because they don't want you to know no, that. No. They need to control the masses, dude, because if they, if we were to realize this, they're outnumbered a million to one, dude. Like right. we, we, it's a tough thing to talk about, man, because, you know, ultimately, what are we going to do? Yeah. Um, but all we can do is talk about it because we live in a country where freedom of speech is a thing. Right. And that's what we're going to do. I like it. Did you, uh, have you followed any of the submarine thing? The submarine thing. That's all over everywhere. So, uh, I mean, if you live under a rock, um, I think it's Ocean Gate. They do tours to go check out the Titanic. This is just me. I would never fucking do that. Absolutely <laughs> yeah. not. I'm not a one. I'm not a water guy. That is way I'm, I'm too a water goddamn guy. deep. <laughs> I'm a water guy on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a water guy in a boat on yeah. a lake. Yeah, that's no it. submarine. The only submarine I want is from Subway. Facts. Twelve inch turkey bacon. But. <laughs> So, so these these dudes these dudes climb in this fucking tin can, and did you see how far out in the fucking water it is? Is there no alarm that that goes off in the head when he pulls out a PS2 controller for the steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. Got a hit stick. Yeah, you guys got the cheat codes back oh there. Oh my god! He's got Come the. On. Too bad they don't have the unlimited health code. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the word I got, um, I follow the Cognitive Marine. Uh, we had him on the pod a little while ago. Got yeah. a couple shorts out of it. Just an absolute brilliant uh, guy, Lieutenant Colonel. Um, actually, I don't know if I should drop his name. But uh, officer in the Marine Corps, and uh, he gets a lot of information first. And he got some word, I think it was like the second day, that the Navy, you'll be seeing it now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's all over Instagram. That the Navy uh, heard the implosion probably two hours after they lost contact. So there was either a breach in the hull or 
somehow there was a uh, failure in the you know, driving system or something significant happened and it literally just dropped. That is absolutely terrifying. Just put your brain in that mindset real quick. Think about being in a tin can. You know, if you have any kind of claustrophobia, forget it. Being in a tin can, and these guys were sitting down like this, literally like this. Mm. They said there's enough room for one person to put their leg up. Oh, my God. And you just start dropping. In the ocean, bro. Oh, my God. That had to be fucking terrifying. Dude, I was wondering, like, because they, they said for days, like, oh, they have 48 hours I of think, oxygen. I feel, I feel like every day they're like, still 40. Yeah, yeah, I know. They just added a little. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get a few more bucks out of this Fuck. story. It sounded like they said that if they had killed one person and had died, they would have had, like, an extra, like, couple days. Yeah, but then you got to deal with a fucking body in there. Yeah, you know. You got to eat, you know. Uh, yeah, and, and my thought was, dude, if say you're say you're in a in a tin can at the bottom of the ocean really for like think about that. for like three days, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm just waiting for everybody, to, someone to come help me here. And uh, you're in there with four other guys. Maybe you had Taco Bell the night before. <laughs> now you're at you're two miles deep in the ocean. You're probably not going to live, and you got the shits, and you got to shit in the fucking can with everybody else in there. Oh, I, that was my first thought. No, I like, think, I think it had a pooper in there. For five days and five people? Yeah, well, that motherfucker got... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. eject out the yeah. bat. Damn, I thought they were floating actually, sewage. I, I'm wondering if it would be more scary to die in the beginning or actually go down, land somewhere, and have like a couple of days just waiting and then... Yeah, I'd rather die in the beginning. Yeah. Just take me now. Well, then again, do you, you, you understand how they died? What does implosion mean? I don't know what that is. So the pressure... So it's like being in space. Yeah. Uh, the further down you go, uh, the pressure gets greater and greater and greater. I guess they said at the peak or at the, the highest that the pressure was like 16 elephants on your shoulders. Oh, so the can just fucking crushed. Crushed with people in it. So your body implodes. Ooh. Like, uh, think about how it is when you're going up in a plane and your ears. Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of similar to that. Times like a million. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Wow. I'm just not, a, I'm, like I said, my, my biggest fear in life is the helo dunker. I'm 35 years old. I'm a grown man. I'm not scared of much. I used to defuse homemade bombs for a living. Put me in that helo dunker again, and you might as well just kill me. <laughs> I don't do the water like that. Yeah, I, don't either. I can do dry land explosions. I can do gunfire. Not a fan of drowning. Me either. Not a fan of the ocean. Hey, hey, RIP to those guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. On a real note. That's, that sucks, man. I'm sucks for the families. It sucks. R.I.P. Yeah. Tough one. Tough one. Um, so what else is going on, Mikey? We got we, we kind of covered uh, Ukraine a little bit. Um, got the submarine. Right now, actually, there is a former United States Marine, Daniel Penny, from New York, that is being charged for manslaughter. Have you seen this? No. Yeah. So he's on uh, the subway. Young kid. Um... Everyone's sitting down, and this African-American guy comes in, clearly intoxicated, and starts yelling at everyone that he's going to kill them, that he's willing to go back to jail, die about this, blah, 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 just talking a bunch of shit to, you know, women, kids, and, you know, whoever else is on the train. Someone needs to do something. Um, when it comes to women and children, they, you know... They need to be protected. And honestly, that is a that is our job. Yeah. Um, always will be. And I am proud of this young man for stepping up and doing something about it. Gets him in a rear naked, simply applies a choke, the man dies. Um, I that's self defense, guys. He felt if he's yeah, yeah, if this dude's yelling that he's ready to die for yep. what he's gonna do in there. Then I'd say the same thing. I'm ready to die to fucking yep. take you out, buddy. Yep. Let's run. You are threatened for your life, and someone is in your bubble. You can defend yourself. And I, unfortunately, people on the train are saying he meant to kill him. Like, are you serious? What is wrong with you people? Someone actually helps you 
saves the day and you're trying to put him in jail? Yeah, what if he just, what if he didn't do anything? What? And then that dude starts hauling off on the kids, yeah. starts fucking grabbing the women yep. and shit. Then are you allowed to do something? I don't understand people, man. Like, wh- what, why would you what, do at that? At what point are you allowed to provide preventative measures? What do you guys want? <laughs> you know, like, what? how I, do you handle something like I don't that? Know, man. That sucks. I didn't know that. Yeah. So he's uh, being tried right now. Oh. How about that kid from the Cape? The Air Force kid who let the uh, sent the files to oh, his buddies, that's bro. Thing. That's another thing. So he's uh, he's on trial right now too. So how do you feel about that? I feel he's the, it's fucking disgusting that they got him locked up for that. You, you got the president of the United States who's got classified files in the glove box of his fucking Corvette. This is a twenty-one year old kid. Yeah, man. And you're gonna and he didn't send information to fucking Russia. You're gonna run it up the the flagpole like that? Like, are you yeah, he sent he sent classified documents that exposed a different narrative so than what we were being told. What he did was he had a private chat yeah. like with his friends. Yeah, yeah. And I think he was flexing a little bit. He was like, this is what I got. You know? <laughs> and uh, he took it off, but someone in the chat took a picture of it and sent it around. Ooh. Yeah. Stupid bonehead move, you know, but um, the stuff that he put out was pretty greasy. Mm. A bit of grease. Mm. Almost like the people who you said were crazy weren't that crazy. Imagine that. Mm. Imagine that, guys. Almost like common sense prevails. Yeah. Mm. It's really, it's really spooky because a lot of these conspiracy theories that we've been, you know, saying jokingly, all the shit, they are true. <laughs> they came true. Yeah, it's just wild, dude. Think about that. If those are true, just saying. You know, you you gotta watch The Simpsons, bro, because I feel That's like this creepy. The Simpsons predict just about very everyone. creepy, very creepy. But I like it. I yeah, think it uh, puts a little excitement in my day. Of course, of course. You know. So, um, so yeah. what uh, what do you get? You got any plans for the weekend? Plans for the weekend? What am I doing? No. It's Friday. It is yeah, Friday. It is Friday. We're shooting Friday. on a Friday. Love a Friday. You Nothing know. better than Friday. Fresh I'd haircut. Yeah. Fresh haircut yesterday. Fresh haircut. Fresh haircut. You know. Now, uh, what do I got? What do I got? This is a big pod weekend for me. I got a couple. Um, Couple lined up for the weekend, and I'm gonna try to upload a bunch to Spotify as well. Try to square myself away. I got a nice quiet weekend. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Been back in the gym a little bit. Um, you know, feeling good. Feeling good. 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 How about yourself? I'm heading to Maine after this. Going up, Very to, nice. going up to camp, up at uh, Old Orchard Beach. Gorgeous up there. Yeah, it's gonna rain this weekend, but that means uh, good, good shore fishing, good shore cast fishing. Oh, you've been fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bought a 10-foot fucking shore cast reel. Oh, very nice. So What's the fishing like up there? Uh, striped bass, scape, skate, or skate, I think they call it. Skate, mm-hmm. they suck. You don't want those. Um, but we're shooting for a striped bass. That's the, that's the key. Because if I can get one, I'll cook it and eat it that night. Make so, great fish tacos. Actually, I, I forgot about something I wanted to talk about re- regarding Ukraine. So I was tagged um, last weekend in a bunch of videos with uh what's going on in ukraine because honestly what before all this we were getting word that ukraine was doing pretty well they i mean they were they were at least yeah that's why we sent them more money yeah yeah i thought so yeah. didn't didn't we wasn't that why we sent them more money yeah, so they went they were being combative with russia but um from what i've been getting sent dude it doesn't look that way um, no keep in mind i'm ignorant i'm not there what I'm getting sent, it, so it was very symbolic, uh, a video that I saw. It, w- it, was, uh, it was a video of Ukraine soldiers being taken POW by Russia, Russia Russian regulars, not Wagner. Um, and there's a Max Pro MRAP in the back, blown to shit, just smoldering, burning. And I thought that was very symbolic of this counteroffensive that they've been doing, that they've been preaching, they've been putting out videos, like Hollywood videos. Of, did you see the Ukraine video that they put out? No. literally done like in a hollywood studio it does it look like, like a um one of those commercials with the sad dog where they look for donations no but it's just like a commercial pan through a blown up city no no it looks like they watched I 300 <laughs> little sarah McLaughlin. oh yeah <laughs> for 50 cents a day you can move these pebbles <laughs> fuck them but yeah so they, they they went all out with this like production for this counter offensive that they were gonna do 
And they ended up taking significant casualties after that. The counteroffensive didn't do shit, and they had to explain themselves to the Whoopsie. Ukraine public. Yeah, like why isn't this worth? But yeah, so all the stuff that we're sending them and the and the money, it's getting either pocketed. And the stuff is getting blown to shit. You it's know? getting filtered back. It's to not looking Biden's good. Pocket. It's really not looking good, man. This whole situation is not looking good. No, no, it never was, dude. It, that's this is what happens when you stick your nose where it doesn't fucking belong. Absolutely. You end up in these situations where, where, it, it, where we send all of our tax dollars over there and you're not allowed to ask where the fuck they went. What? Like, how does, it makes me want to be like, well, I ain't fucking paying taxes anymore. You guys aren't using it for what it's supposed to be used for. Why are we paying taxes when they're just printing money? They're just printing money and yeah, putting it true. out there. So what are we paying taxes? I hear the, you. the value of the dollar is uh, it fluctuates on that, but like you said, they just if they were if they excuse me if they ran out one burp per episode always a little one yeah, what? if uh, if they ran out they just print more and and yeah it makes you like and right now it helps, but why can't I print it? Why do you have to print it? Right now it takes care of the problem, but ten years down the line, yeah the snowball's fucked. rolling, bro. Fucked. No value. Recession. Yeah. It's yeah. scary. It's Not scary. Good. And I, I feel old talking about stuff like this, you know, but I can understand. Well, we're at the age where this, this it matters. The, yeah, these, these kind of moves matter. I mean, for your 401k, for your retirement. And for we're going to be living in that world. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The thing we listened to earlier about, the ca about cash going away, that fucking, yeah. that made my stomach turn. Yeah, that's true. So right now it really looks like, I mean, look at, you know about bricks? You know about so BRICS is like a conglomerate. Uh, I think it's ran by China and probably Russia. And literally, countries are banging down their door and applying to this. BRICS is a new form of currency. They're starting their own currency, and a lot of people are going that way. Not the same as Mexican BRICS in currency. No, no, oh, no, all right. no. a little different. A little yeah, different. Okay. But yeah, they're they're starting their own currency and they're trying to devalue the dollar. And they're all dropping the dollar. No, I haven't heard about that. I will. I want to look into that though, because no, I think that that it's. It, I'm surprised to be honest, dude, with all the countries out there that we don't have some sort of universal currency. Yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, and I think that ultimately is not going to be good. Um, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong; it sounds convenient, but um, honestly, that's what the dollar is. Before yeah. all this, the dollar was. Pretty much used everywhere, dude. Right. Um, yeah, it's wild, man. I, I don't understand the... Uh, that's like, really what United States does. They go over there and they force you to use the dollar because of uh, whatever they're trading or whatever. They, because they're giving you. This is what I mean. And You'll use dollars if I gave you three million of them. This is what I'm saying. That's what they do. And I think countries are starting to see through that and they're pulling away. And ultimately, that's going to cause significant problems. Um, not right now, obviously, because the dollar is very well entrenched. I mean, it's been used for years now um, all over the place. But it's, it's eventually going to come back to us, I believe. Um, and I feel like that's when they're going to start their one currency. I mean, what he was talking about, you know, an online currency. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of scary. Centralized. Right? Centralized, yeah. Centralized banking. I mean, that's what they were talking about. I'm kind of, I do. This next election is extremely significant. Um, yeah, it's the only chance we got to get out of this fucking. I think it's going to get pretty kinetic, dude. I think some some shit is going to happen for sure. It's it's going to be a a huge event. That's for sure. And I pray. Yeah. I really hope Trump can get back in there, man, or someone with some. Doesn't even have to be him. No, dude. it doesn't have as to be As long as it's just not Joe. Just someone with some common sense. Yeah, at least. somebody with the, with a business mindset. Yeah. It doesn't have to be him. But exactly. somebody who knows how to run a fucking Honestly, that's, business. I mean, don't get me wrong. Trump is a fucking moron sometimes. He does stupid shit, but he runs it like a business. That's that's how the country needs to be run. Every other country is run as a business. You make you, you yep. make money, you provide for the country. This this whole give everybody stuff <laughs> is not helping. You know, not. It, it takes away the incentive. You wonder why people like there's there's places closing down because they can't find help. Yep. Because you got motherfuckers feeding off the government that don't need they it's don't have fact. to work, bro. It's a fact. 
they got enough money for their fucking their section eight housing and their parks, they're fucking they're done. That's a they, fact. They don't they don't they don't need anything else, man. So all those minimal minimum wage jobs, they they're they're empty. Because these people are making minimum wage to fucking stay home. It's a fact. So that has to change. And the only way that changes is to get rid of the Democrat. Get rid of Joe. He needs to go. Yeah. Out the door. And what happened to Caramel? <laughs> you tell me. Bro, she disappeared like a year ago. I haven't ago. seen her in a minute. They, the last time I saw her, they were like, so you haven't been to the border? And she goes, I haven't been to Europe either. <laughs> what the fuck? I think they brought her up behind the shed. <laughs> You know, hate, hate, hate to say it, but God written. <laughs> but uh, it's it's good to get back. We haven't I haven't been on here in a little while. Just been busy, good busy, dude. Back, dude. busy, 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 busy. I hear you. And now we're uh, now we got couches and shit. Now we get couches. We're gonna slowly build this thing up, dude. I'm thinking we get a nice little table, deck <clears> out the back. I, I like how we've progressed. Yeah, we're slowly crawl, getting walk, back. run, man. Absolutely. I'm saying it for a year now. Absolutely. We are officially one year. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I got the props, dude. Yeah, I think we're around seventy something episodes, almost at a hundred. Yeah, I got the notification on, uh, on Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was that it was one year. Yep, that's significant, man. I mean, we we've, we've stayed with it. Um, it. It's been an up and a down ride, but uh, we've stayed with it, man. And I, I, I got to tell you, I love it, man. It's something that brings us together. At the end of the day, you know, it doesn't have to be this huge successful thing. As long as we're be able to get together, talk. You know, bring some like-minded people on here and just have a conversation. That's all I wanted out of it, man. Yeah, me too, dude. I we're not not in it to be a millionaire. No. I just I like no. doing it. Makes us happy, man. We're, we're talking about things we believe in. Um, and it, yeah, it gives me an excuse to like to to go over my opinion on certain things. For sure. We're not always the same, but no. Um, it's nice to have somebody to bounce thoughts off. Definitely, of, so. for sure. And you, you know, honestly, nowadays it's kind of taboo. You're, you you get nervous sometimes bringing up your opinion because you don't know how people are going to take it you know it's like not nervous but just you know what i mean yeah okay. yeah all right dude well, this is this is a uh, good good episode back um we're going to start trying to do um in the basement at least every week so yeah. i think wednesday thursday is going to be our drop date um and we're going to try to keep that consistent um I think also we have a significant episode coming up. Um, it's going to be me, Mike, and I, I'm hoping Cognitive Marine. Um, we're probably going to get a outside venue for it. We're going to work on the audio so it comes out perfect because the last outside episode was with uh, Donner Stag, and our mics kind of pick up the, the background too much. So we're going to play around with that. And, uh, and if anybody's got suggestions on what mics we, yeah, please, we should do, please, please. Like, no, we're not audio guys, but no, I'm no. sure there's probably some out there that are watching. If you have any insight on that kind of shit, it'd be very helpful. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're, not, we're balling on a budget here, but we got to make it we so... Can, we can make it work. Yeah, so we can do it outside. And please, please, guys, just comment. We, we, love, we love that. We love your input because we're doing this for y'all. So please give us something. We'll make it work. We'll talk about it. And we're still... We're still taking calls, guys. If you want to call in, talk to us, hit me up, let us know. We'll make it happen. We love your input. We love you guys. Um, thanks for rocking with us still. Hard to kill in the basement. Yeah. Coming at you. Friday. Have a good weekend, guys. Semper Fi. Hoorah. God bless America.